Hello everyone, Nathan Murray from Tanchmore Acres Farm and Murray's Farm Fresh Vegetables. Here on our farm we've started our second cut. It's uh, 14th of July. Uh, we're mowing down a field of orchard grass and alfalfa, a field that we'd seeded last summer. It's uh, The varieties of alfalfa is Actus alfalfa. It's an elite variety that we purchased through the Amherst Country Store in Amherst, Nova Scotia. We also got this teamed up with uh, Crown Royal Orchard Grass. We uh, put this on a uh, seeding rate of 9 pounds of alfalfa and 8 pounds of orchard grass to the acre. This is a 12 acre field here we're knocking down. Uh, and Dad's mowing over there. We're uh, using our uh, new Kubota mower we would got this season. It's a little upgrade from the mower we had the previous seasons. That, that we had a Kuhn uh, Coon conditioner mower, and it uh, it was uh, an eight foot cut. We had the mower for 17, 18 years there, and we bought her second hand, so it's been a pretty good mower for us. But time to do a little upgrade. We purchased this uh, Kubota mower from Ford Equipment in Amherst, Nova Scotia, also, and uh, it's a 11 foot 10 cut. It's a center pivot with uh, the conditioner in her, and uh, we've been using her on a few fields there. We got her. I don't know, about a month ago or so, and uh, been a great mower for us. It's uh, definitely uh, making a wider, uh, wider cut, and it's eliminated raking for us, so which is quite nice. I know you use a little bit more fuel baling, not raking, but uh, we're growing uh, quite a volume of stuff, and uh, I think we're making a little better bale, a little denser, and uh, and like I said, eliminating the job of raking, so which is quite nice. We measured this orchard grass and alfalfa there this morning before setting in the mow. Uh, the alfalfa measures right around 30, 31 inches in height and uh, the orchard grass, it's, it's a solid three feet when you stand the leaf up. But uh, no, this mower here we purchased, like I say, about a month ago there from Ford Equipment. And uh, can't ask for a better place to, to deal with as far as service, friendliness. They've been a great dealership. We've been dealing with them for a few years actually. It all started back years ago with my great grandfather, and, uh, and then it would be my great uncle, my father, and now myself. So we got four generations of farmers there dealing with this same business and great service. It's nice, nice having a dealer right on your doorstep basically. And uh, like I say, when you go in there, fantastic service. Couldn't ask for any, any better. You know, and at the end of the day, that's what it really boils down to. A dealership there that you feel comfortable with, they feel comfortable with you, and uh, Everything's just great. But anyways, I'm going to get a little closer here and try to take a video of uh, my father there, father mowing. We're uh, pulling this mower with a uh, 9540 Kubota. It's a tractor we purchased through Ford Equipment a few years ago, and uh, she's been a great tractor. I don't know what we have, 47, 4800 hours on her now. And she's a 9540, and uh, she's pulling this uh, 11 foot mower, no trouble. We're running about seven kilometers an hour. So we're looking forward to feeding this stuff. Orchard grass and alfalfa has been a crop we haven't grown in my lifetime, Dad had grown it probably 25, 30 years ago. Remembers back and thought we'd give her another try. They've come a long way with varieties there, a lot of genetic testings and all that stuff. Here on our farm, when we seed stuff, we use all certified seed. I think it gives you that edge, especially when you have your fertility and all your nutrients up where they should be. Those plants really start to thrive and you see the dividends coming back in crops like this. Like this is the second cutting. Our first cutting we took on the 6th of June and uh, here it is the 14th. Like I said, we're taking our second cut. And uh, we'll be 
taking another cut and possibly a pour if we can if the timing works out for us. So this stuff here we'll be feeding it to our uh, calves. We like to creep feed with lots of forage. I think it makes quite a difference. We calve start in November, December, January. This this here gets gets her rumens going. And uh, when the calves hit pasture season there they can really consume and gain up well. On our farm here for 10, 11 month old calves, our aim is 900, 1,000 pounds, and that's quite achievable, you know, with good forage and good pastures. And uh, we'll also use some of this stuff here for, for fattening heifers. We did a little trial there last winter, feeding good forage like this, and very little grain, about a pound, pound and a half of grain a day, and those heifers, they fatten up some easy. But then again, it all boils back to genetics. Good genetics, whether it be animal genetics or plant genetics. And uh, it's nice to start to see things starting to transpire and uh, getting good results. But if anyone's looking for uh, good equipment and good service, check out Ford Equipment Amherst, Nova Scotia. And if you're looking for good, good seed to grow, you check out Amherst Country Store. They've got a good lineup of seeds and all your needs. So between those two places have helped our farm out tremendously. I'd like to give you guys a big thank you and keep up the good work. And we'll keep up ours.